The NCAA Division II football playoffs got underway Saturday, November 19th, and for the first time since 2010, Central Missouri was one of the last 28 teams in the country left standing. As the sixth seed, 20th ranked UCM traveled to Searcy, Arkansas to take on three seed and number five, Harding. The Bisons still undefeated at 11-0. These teams have met before, but that was way back in the 60s, so let's see what happens in the 21st century. Mules win the toss and want the ball, a good combination of putting the ball in the air and on the ground gets UCM to the Harding 13-yard line. And from there, senior quarterback Garrett Fugate runs in the first score of the game. In the first quarter, Mills take a 7-0 lead. First possession for Harding ends in the Bisons responding with a score of their own, running the ball in from the three. With about six minutes left, we're tied 7-7. Mules with the ball again. On first down, UCM gets a big gain when Fugate connects with Seth Abair. 42 yards there. Very next play, Fugate has to run, but he keeps looking, finds Markel McNack. McNack speeds into the end zone on the 27-yard scoring route. UCM went 82 yards in just six plays and is back in the lead, 14-7. Moving into the second quarter, Harding continues to pound the ground, running the triple option. The occasional throw helps the Bisons too, though, and they have another response in the form of a score. Eric Simmons dives this one in from two yards out. Game is tied at 14 now. First play of UCM's ensuing drive, Fugate hits fellow senior Andrew Baker. 32-yard gain right off the bat. This possession finishes up with a 29-yard field goal from Billy Greco. Mules up 17-14. We see another response from Harding, but it is a touchdown to UCM's field goal, so the Bisons take their first lead of the game with two minutes left to the break of 21-17. The Mules have to punt for the first time after that, but the Harding returner loses the ball. Garrett Klein simply reaches down, picks it up. UCM gets the ball back at the Harding 26. With the momentum, two plays later, it's a 23-yard scoring pass from Fugate to Jalen Zachary. Touchdown, Mules. UCM back in the lead, 24-21, 30 seconds left on the clock. Unfortunately, the Bisons don't need any time at all to score because Corey Bassett returns the kickoff. 93 yards for a Harding score. Home team back on top now, 28-24. That 30 seconds gets the Mules in long field goal range from 44 yards out, but the kick is blocked as the clock expires. At halftime, Harding leads Central Missouri 28-24 in a back and forth nail biter. Third quarter action now, Bison's looking to convert on fourth down and three at the UCM 42, but Michael Tannehill puts a stop to that. Ball turned over on downs. The Mules go back to work on a second down and 12 play. Fugate makes a short throw to Kyle Eccles and no one stops him. 25 yard score for Eccles and a pretty easy one at that. UCM leading again 31-28. Harding starts its next drive off with one of the rare passing plays and it gains 39 yards for the Bisons. Three plays later, Simmons runs to the outside but then cuts back in and runs in an 18 yard score. With six minutes left in the quarter, Harding is back on top, 35-31. Mules end up having to punt the ball away, so the Bisons get the chance to go up by more than one score, and they do. QB Park Parrish calls his own number, then runs the ball for 41 yards and a touchdown. PAT is blocked, 90 seconds left in the third quarter, Harding up 41-31. to Let's move to the fourth quarter. The teams have traded turnovers, and then on third down, the Bisons go to the air. Parrish hooks up with Andrew Dather for an 81-yard touchdown. Ten minutes left in the game. Yules trail 48-31, but they don't give up. The defense is still going hard, and De'Aaron Rhodes proves that on another Harding possession with a big hit that forces a fumble. But there is no more scoring in this game. Six seed Central Missouri falls to three seed Harding in the NCAA playoffs, 48-31. They uh, played very well on offense, and it was difficult to get them off the field. And um, even a few times when we got them in a, in a third and long situation, um, they managed to convert. I thought uh, kickoff return right before half was a big play. And then second half, I thought they just they really dominated the game. Um, we actually got some turnovers on defense and uh, didn't really, I don't think we turned any of those into points offensively. So. Uh, got to give a lot of credit to Harding. The, their kids played their hearts out and did a great job executing their offense. And then they were very opportunistic in the, in the second half. And when we did have opportunities, they, they, they shut us down. So it was a game that uh, you know, clearly was won by them. They were very physical uh, on both sides of the ball. Um, and uh, again, they made a lot of plays on offense. And, and when they had to throw the ball, they were very effective at it. 
The Bisons outgained the Mules 528 to 381 on offense, converted on 10 third down plays, and possessed the ball for about 17 more minutes. Parrish had just one incompletion for Harding and led the triple option with 118 rushing yards. For UCM, Fugate went 22 of 28 passing for 314 yards and three touchdowns. He also rushed for 29 yards. Gabe Vandiver picked up 21 on the ground while McNack had 14. Zachary led the receivers with 87 yards. Eccles and Abair both had 72, while Baker had 51 and McNack 40 yards. Tevin Teamer led the mule defense with 18 tackles, 13 of them solo. Montez Lattimore recorded 10 and Alex Lackey had 8. Central Missouri finishes the season with a 9-3 record, a 10th straight winning season for the Mules. Just a few days before UCM football made its first appearance in the NCAA playoffs since the 2010 season, 16 Mules earned all MIAA honors, including the Special Teams Player of the Year award going to Jalen Zachary. Reporting in Searcy, Arkansas, I'm Katie Smith for UCMAthletics.com.